so uh, I uh, I want to make a review of Vertigo because I think it's a horror movie and it's misunderstood because I'm fine with it being the best movie of all time. Let's let's say it's the best movie of all time. But it's not really seen as a horror movie, and I'll just I'll explain why it's a horror movie. Uh, which is, I mean, it, it's really quite like bizarre, you know. I just saw some reviews, and um, then uh, it, it's not really described as a horror movie, but it's, uh, I'll explain why it's a horror movie. Firstly, the music is really creepy by Bernard Herrmann, you know, the Twilight Zone, the main music to the Twilight Zone and Psycho. So essentially, we got this, like, horror music playing, like, almost all the time, alright? And it's like, um, um, so there's, for example, there's a scene where, where they're kissing, uh, and, um, and then the, the, the scenery changes uh, behind the, 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 the Scotty and, and, and Judy are kissing and or oh, Madeline, let's call her, where is Judy Madeline, we call her, let's call her Judy, that's apparently her real name. They, they're kissing and then the, 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 the changes, the background changes. Uh, so like, like in a, like in Videodrome or something, which obviously came after, but uh, and but the music goes on to play romantic music, but I mean it's still scary as hell, you know. I mean it's just it's just unbelievably scary. I mean it's 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 uh, um, it's it's really creepy. I mean it's like it's just a uh, and and often the music will indicate when it's creepy. Uh, I mean, that was Karina's first impression, also, of creepy music. Like, when it began, it's like, it's, it's, uh, super creepy. And, uh, uh, the thing is, in, in art horror, you have a monster, right? So, I mean, there are plenty of monsters in this movie. Uh, and, uh, I mean, there's, 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 there's also... Why do people just assume there's nothing supernatural? I mean, where's the where's the knockdown evidence and uh, an argument that that uh, I mean the whole Madeline thing, the ma oh why what no not Madeline the whole uh, what's her name uh, this woman from from the 19th century uh, Carlotta Valdez. Yeah, but what if that is correct? I mean, it's like, uh, what if, like, maybe it's true that there is a possession, there is a real possession or something? Um, like, how, how would you, like, know for sure? I mean, I mean it's like, uh, like, how do you know for sure that there's a tiger and and Vertigo and uh, doesn't have supernatural elements, there's, there's only like hinting at the supernatural a lot. I think like, like, like the essay Lovecraft wrote an essay called Supernatural Horror and Literature. Uh, it's pretty obvious, like weird fiction, like, like, like Vertigo and, and Psycho belong in that category that, that Lovecraft deals with, uh, with what, with what Lovecraft means with supernatural, certainly. Certainly fit Vertigo and uh, and Psycho very well in my opinion, because there's there's so many hints at the supernatural, even even though it's something that could happen. But yeah, I I mean I I don't know. I mean of course like different people find different things scary, but uh, yeah, I'm mostly really like getting goosebumps and thinking about a lot, like a lot of scary stuff in the movie. And you know, essentially, um, uh, 
I mean, it's like it's like there's a there's a, at one point it's like there's a glitch in the matrix, like like Madeline disappears and reappears, like. Uh, of course, this is unintentionally, but uh, but I mean, it's it's really it's really creepy. I mean, it's it's, it's Twilight Zone stuff by the by the guy who made music for Twilight Zone, so it's like. It's not John Williams action music, it's Bernard Herrmann horror music. Uh, so uh, I mean it's just it's just ridiculous to, to call it a romance. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like I like Kim Novak. You know? I mean it's beautiful. She's extremely beautiful. Yeah, I I like uh, I like uh, Scotty's other, I like I like Mitch as well. Uh, uh, there are beautiful women. Just because there's beautiful women, and I mean there's beautiful women in Friday Thirteenth, uh, Six of Chainsaw. You know a lot of a lot of like good horror movies have beautiful women. It's just there are beautiful women, yes. But but the so-called romance between <laughs> this guy and and uh, and Madeline, uh, it's just I mean it's, it's just ridiculous to uh, okay I'm calling her Madeline from now on, not Judy Madeline, but it's ridiculous to call it like some kind of like a, like it's like it's a see like a like 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 Slavoj Zizek and uh, like some other people like uh, I guess you saw some reviews I mean that's that's a full shit it's just unbelievable it's it's not about that they're, they're projecting you know their own like uh, mundane stuff into the into a, a, a work of weird fiction because uh, they just don't respect weird fiction but Hitchcock was a master of weird fiction, uh, right? And uh, the thing is, it, it's not about it's not about Scotty and Madeline having a normal, mundane, you know, like 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 boyfriend and girlfriend or or, or, or anything of that that matter. It's you can enjoy that, right? I I agree. You can. You can, uh, but I mean that's a gimmick, you know. That's the MacGuffin. It's the. Um, it's the. Uh, I mean, even even the the dream sequence. You see the dream sequence, right? I mean, I mean, uh, is that? Do you think that's romantic or? What? Uh, and and I'm I'm not talking about like gothic, or it's not like gothic horror or anything, but it's uh, it's it's modern horror. It's uh, it's uh, it just has like the feeling of like a great horror movie. Like like you have you have this feeling when you watch this movie. You have like the same feeling when you watch like Psycho, or Friday the Thirteenth, or Halloween, or like stuff like that, you, you you just you just get these like uh, like great uh, like horror. You got this great horror feeling, and of tension. I mean, you can cut the tension with a knife. I mean, it's just uh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's like um, uh, and. Um, uh, And so, uh, so Hitchcock himself, he mentioned like the age difference, which just just makes it a little bit like uh, that's a little bit like what the fuck, you know? Because it's just like he's like fifty and she's like twenty five or something. So. But uh, yeah, so what? I mean, it's like. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain. I mean, people can't see it, they can't see it, but it's just, uh, 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 I mean, I, I mean, I can list uh, the horror, uh, the, the obvious horror element in the movie. Also, the doppelganger motif, for example. And, um, uh, Which, uh, but uh, 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 anyway, I mean, there's, there's the murder, there's the murder, right? I mean, where, 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 where Elsa's wife get murdered and thrown out, uh, and then uh, later, um, Charles Madeline dies. So, I mean, that's two people dying. I mean, and then there's the story of um, of Calada um, uh, Valdez. So that's three people dying. Uh, that's three people dying. And Calada Valdez, uh, that's, a, that's a ghost story. Ghost story. <coughs> and there's a spiral motif, uh, so it's a creepy car chase. Uh, like at one at one point, like you have two green cars, which is like what? Oh my god! And there's a. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's uh, like identity laws, like object laws, identity laws. There's so many like subliminal scenes. Uh, there's, there's horror elements in the dream sequences. The dream sequence is just like... It's like... It's, it's, uh, like a bit, uh, it's just like a, like a great like short horror movie in itself. Where where there's the there's the there's the graveyard or cemetery or what you or I, I don't know what the most normal I think in England it's the graveyard and in America it's cemetery maybe but I, I don't know I'm not native Ameri or native English speaking so I, I don't know uh, let's just call it a cemetery. I don't oh a graveyard. Oh that's a graveyard, a lot of graveyards. Which is horror. Horror. Right? There's the creepy hotels. There's um, the, the, the catch and rye reference with Ernie's. So catch and rye has a lot of like horror elements as well. They're going to Ernie's like in Catch and the Rye. There's uh, all the weird colors, like the green colors, and, and the, 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 the weird lighting, you know, the, the, the scene where she gets out of the bathroom, and that's just like a kind of glitch in the matrix where she seems to disappear and reappear. And the tension, there's the tension between, uh, there's the betrayal. The flashbacks, you know, I, I, I just uh, it just go on and on about uh, about the uh, that's Mitch, the Mitch character. That's the uh, I mean, uh, that's 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 the scene where Hitchcock himself like walks past. It's just little like some kind of like meta thing, you know, like that's the creepy bookstore, you know. It's just. It's just like uh, there's a scene, there's a chase scene on the roof, which uh, some guy who showed that it was like kind of like reproduced in the Matrix. 
and the Creepy Hotel is like, yeah, what's it called, like this, uh, uh, at the Mountains of Mad, in, in the Mouth of Madness by John Carpenter, has a very similar hotel uh, lobby to that, so, which is also like, I, I think maybe uh, it could be explained by, uh, maybe she's in on it, like, she be in on it. So I, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a, again, I mean, some kind of like, maybe she sneaked past, or maybe Madeline sneaked past, or maybe it's supernatural, you know, maybe, maybe it's all a dream or something like it, like, like why, why do you expect uh, movies to make sense when, you know, reality doesn't make sense, you know, it's like, maybe it is a dream, you know, who knows? So, so it's like, uh, yeah. Mm. Those are, you know, those like engagement that's mentioned within Mitch and Mitch and the three three weeks engagement. I mean, it's like, uh, which is like. Uh, uh, like why is that mentioned, for example, and uh, and uh, uh, um, uh, there's a corridor, you know, the corridor of light, and uh, uh, Karina said that uh, the French book was called something like Entrance of Death or something. The Entrance of Death, uh, because but vertical, of course, means dizziness. Doesn't mean um, it doesn't mean fear of heights, fear of heights, agoraphobia. But it's just like, uh, yeah, I mean it's like, yeah, I mean this is a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a horror movie. 